What's going on guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can change and play around with the margins in your ClickFunnels using custom CSS. Um, sometimes you are unable to adjust the margin and fit the text in your headlines, or the image may actually be only centered in the middle, but it may appear like an element that's way bigger than it is. So let me just show you what I mean by that. So as you can see here in our previous video, we've created this um, this transparency effect when you hover over it. But the problem is, notice, when I click on this, it, it hovers just fine. But if I don't even click on it, if I hover over an area surrounding it, it also creates this transparency effect, which isn't good because it doesn't look very professional, right? That wasn't the point. And the reason why it's like that is because even though the image is in the center, it the the area it occupies is actually much larger so we need to destroy that area okay so let me show you how you can do that i'm going to click edit page i'm going to go into my custom css area again so as you can see here it shows you it's much larger okay so what we're going to do is going to go to so let me start from the beginning i'm going to go into settings of whatever area you want to adjust the margins i'm going to go into get css info and here where it says css id selector i will copy that I will exit out of it. I will go into custom CSS at the top right. And I will paste that there. And now I will put this bracket here, this brace as they call. Uh, and I will say margin. So we have margin top at the top margin, bottom margin, left margin, right margin. Okay. Um, so in this case, we need to adjust our left and right because that's the excess. We don't need to adjust the top and bottom because that will just create extra space. We need to remove the space from the left and right. So what I'm going to do is I will say margin right, and I will put the double dots, and I will say, for example, 10px. So I'm just putting the pattern in there. And now I will use semicolon. The reason I have to use semicolon is because there's more than one action I want to do under the same element. Something we didn't have to do in our previous video, right? Because we only had one action. We only had the opacity, and then we closed the, the braces. In this video, uh, in this case, it's not the case. So we we are doing margin right and margin left at the same time. So as I click margin left, I need to do uh, double dots, and I'll say, for example, complex login, and I'm gonna close the semicolon and then close the braces. And now, the the area the picture occupies is actually a bit smaller, okay? You may not be able to see it because it's only 10 pixels, but at least we got that formula down there. So now all we have to do is we're going to go back and we're just going to play around with it as much as it takes to get the full picture in place. So instead of a 10, maybe I'll do 100. So I'll add, a, I'll add a zero. I'll click exit. And now, as you can see, it's even smaller, right? So before, see the difference? There's that about, about an inch worth of space that it occupied before. So let me go back. So it looks like 100 increments is not enough. Let me say maybe 300. Okay, so there's still a little bit more. So maybe let me go with 400 and I think that should do it. So I'm going to say 400 pixels on either side. We're going to adjust the margins. Yep, there you go. Okay. So we've basically shifted the picture, we've squeezed it in, okay? And that's the point of these margins is we're creating margins to squeeze squeeze whatever it is in. So we're creating additional margins. So we created additional basically 400 pixels worth of margin, which squeezed our image together into one, okay? So if I actually keep going, uh, as you can see, you need to find a point to stop. So you do need to play around with it because if I go 500 now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to squeeze my image even more. It's going to make it smaller so it scales. We don't want that, okay? So let me go back, and I will put it back to 400 and show you now what the difference is. So I'm going to save this. Go into preview. Basically the same thing. And now, if I click anywhere, if, if, if I hover over any other area, it does not create that problem. So only if I hover over the image will it create that hovering thanks to this, okay? Um, I mean, the other thing you may want to do is maybe you may want to adjust the margins of your text, so squeeze it in there. So for example, in this case, um, you only have the top margin uh, that you can play around with, right? Nothing else. And if I go to advanced, uh, there's no area to play around with that either. So if you want your text to kind of squeeze in there, there's nothing really you can do. So the only way to do this is with our custom CSS. So again, I'm going to copy the code going to get the CSS info, copy it, go to custom CSS. I'm going to create a new element editing. 
I will put in the brace again, okay? And I will put in, for example, margin. I'll do the same thing, margin right. Let's start with, so it will tell you, or it, it will actively show you what it looks like as you do the changes. So if I do 20 pixels, as you can see, it moved a little bit, okay? So let me just show you again. So as you can see, notice, notice the image. Do you see the difference? Okay, so with the PX, it moved a bit to the uh, a, a bit to the left. So now I'm going to put a semicolon because I'm going to put another element in there, and I will say margin left double dots 20 pixel. And now that's going to move it again to the right. So it's going to squeeze in. So if I make this, and by the way, let me just close the brace there. So if I make this 100, okay, it's it, it's going to squeeze the text really uh, on the inside, okay. So that's just an option, something that is available for you guys. And like I said, you don't have to use it only in ClickFunnels. You can use it wherever you want, as long as it has that custom uh, custom CSS editing option, such as WordPress or other um, funnel designing websites software, okay? And these margins are actually also incredibly useful, especially if you have a certain pop-up come up in the middle or uh, when people first enter a page and come to your landing page and they see this offer, you know, on the right saying, free video or free PDF or on the left saying free video, free PDF reveals this, click the button. And instead of being in the middle, like every single ClickFunnels has as a default, it'll be on your right and left. This will also come in handy. So what we need to do to do that is click on the entire section. I'm going to click settings. I will get the CSS code for that as well. And you can also adjust the margins for this. So I'm going to go here put the bracket and then I will say margin and then this will determine how many margins how much margin you want to be to the right or left so it, it doesn't really matter uh, suppose I'll say right and I'll say 50 pixels and again I don't have to say that then there's 50 space there's 50 pixels of space to the right of this now okay if I make it uh, 200 there's 200 right so you can play around with that so that's also pretty cool because every single click funnels page has this default being in the middle you will stand out with this. It, it may look a bit different. It may look like, wow, this guy's got something different going on, right? So that's also pretty cool. And of course, if you want to make it go from the left, you can do the exact same thing, same margin left. And now there's 50 pixels worth of margin on the left of this, okay? Uh, so that's about it for this video. I hope um, this margin tutorial and custom CSS was able to help you out. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. If there's anything you want me to go over, um, also, let me know. I'll be happy to help you with anything. And please subscribe. For those of you that already subscribed, I do appreciate it. Uh, and stay tuned for the next video.